Another perfectly blocked body shot by Wright after he landed a right hook and an uppercut. And he sticks the jab in front of that face. One, two, three, four more times. And, you know, the layoff did him some good, but he still, he's so front foot heavy that he can't avoid anything. And these jabs are starting to take a toll on him. Well, Rick, Winky is in, at the advantage of him. He's on a confident high. He would not get tired now. He's just, he's in hard, which is the wrong way to move against the southpaw unless you're going to stay back and stay outside. The trickle of blood has begun again for Trinidad. Ironically, Oscar De La Hoya moved the wrong way all night long. He was an uprise. He was a younger guy coming to take over the older guy. He had a lot more energy. In this case, they're a year. <laughs> Where is that? Trinidad does try to get closer. It's clear. And Wright uses that as an option. That's the only explanation for what's going on. And then, like you said earlier, they never have a plan B. But he's still shooting straight shots right in front of Wright, trying to... Yeah, it, it will, but the one thing that you have to still understand is he had to put Tito down a really noteworthy fight, which was the Vargas fight. Like I said, he fought Bunko a And the point that Larry makes about shorter, quicker punches that leave you in a better position to defend, I think we're going to see more of that. Yeah, that doesn't mean to me he's given up. It's just seven, three rounds to nothing. Ricky Wright, to not attention. Larry is, but he don't give a damn. He's doing wrong. But I'll continue with it after this. Larry. The crowd is chanting Winky. The Trinidad fans are saying...